I figured if you wanted a Bane, you'd pick it up in the 3-4 area, but... We did see uh, Wraith King as well as Shadow Shaman banned out by Na'Vi. The Sand King as well as the Ancient Another Apparition was taken out by Power Rangers. And they go ahead and Radiant pick up the Puck in Na'Vi. They said they're going to grab the Templar Assassin for themselves to run up against the Puck this time. Well, TA is in Dire this time. They got a lot easier access to Roshan. And I thought that's why right. Na'Vi was doing really well last game. It's just since they had such an easy lineup to just take down towers and the other team didn't, Navi's they were able to, to just get a lot more map control and just take down easy Roshans. But this time, uh, reverse for the mid players. But going back to the Bane, it's, it's good against these heroes, but it, it can get Shadow Demon disrupted. And the only time you ever want to pick Bane Norm the, most of the time is just... A lot of times that we used to see it just to counter the life stealer, and the life stealer has been resurging, surging himself back into the eastern Dota scene, mm -hmm. which Ten uh, seconds remaining. we've I have been casting and watching, I guess, with you and Radiant Toby, team or so I guess Toby, but. Yeah, I, I had a day since uh, Toby was covering a lot of the ESL semifinals. I had a day today where I was just watching a lot of the um, a lot of the, the Asian games that I have not been able to watch that much just because there have been so much European Dota going on. Because uh, we got to, we got the ESL one um, third place match tomorrow at 10 CEST, and then the day after that we have the grand finals, which will determine who will get a slot into Frankfurt. Reserve the third power. place slot determines who gets a second chance at going to Navi's Frankfurt, because the third place ban. slot actually moves into the overall Asia qualifier, which is joined by the second place from the Chinese qualifier, as well as um, all the Southeast Asian teams. So that that's going to be uh, a really exciting event as well. But yeah, the next two days we got some uh, the uh, some big remaining. Chinese matches to cast. So I've been spending the pretty much all day today before I came in was just um, watching some of those matches and just kind of catching up on pick. what's been happening in the scene so far since I didn't get to cast those semifinals, <laughs> which I say get to, but it was also really early morning. So for th I'm, I'm happy I didn't have to wake up that early like Toby did, but. Uh, Lich is going to be picked up here from Na'Vi, and uh, we had some bans. Doom going the way of Na'Vi, as well as the Weaver is going to be banned out by Power Rangers. Uh, call it now, Ryu. Is this Leshrac? Is this going to be an aggro try to support Leshrac? Or is there a possibility here that they run dual lanes and Leshrac could be Five a core? Five seconds mm -hmm. remaining. Mm -hmm. No? Well, this will be a try lane, aggressive try lane, puck middle or puck bottom and then they're gonna deal give something to deal with either the TA mid or deal with the bat rider in the off lane. I think they have enough uh, you're going against a Lich Bane, that's not a very strong lane. And then if you just dive past the tower you can get the top tier one tower relatively quickly with the less rec edict. So you can just pull that creep wave uh, and then just easily dive. So they need to be careful on Navi's side and how they want to lane this, how they want to prepare for this. But I think that would be the best solution. Yeah. And what they need now is uh, maybe another semi-carry that could work out. Either a clinks or maybe a... I don't know. Well, what else is there? You got... Hmm. Yeah, an OD, clinks, some kind of other hero that Unless they just want to go full out on aggression, then I, I, I think they need another semi slash hard K. Yeah. So what could we be running here? Like I like all the, like Power Rangers have so much aggression here, but I feel like they're missing a little bit out on push. So if they're not angling for picking up like a big farming hard carry here, then we need something that can push. I'm just trying to think of what's left as far as solo laners that would be able to help you out a lot in pushing power. Like most of them have been banned away. Um, Clinks. Clinks. Oh, that's like actually a really good idea. I said it I know, already. I know, I know, Gosh. I just, I wasn't thinking about it. Oh. I know. Where's I the Wiz Tiny? We haven't Ten seen that from any remaining. of the teams, and we haven't seen, wow, the good Navi's old days of Power Rangers. Pick. That's probably a less drag middle, which is fine. <laughs> or it could be dual lanes, like you said. <laughs> so we do have a less drag core. Sweet. I don't know, man. I'm just a fan of, of seeing this less drag core coming up here. And they, there's your life picked up a uh, hero that uh, has not been seen too much but is really good up against the shadow demon Marana combos you call well, it it's real. amazing against all those heroes except for shadow demon and puck and Marana and Venge and Lashrak. Uh it's 
good for getting pickoffs with the bat rider mm -hmm. but this lineup they have a lot of ways to counteract you with either the leap away waning rift shadow demon disrupt and venture but it doesn't matter if you just pick off one or two buy them lonesome if you just shut down some heroes and get some free pickoffs then it's fine they have nothing to really kill the life stealer they have shadow demon to kite them around and venge maybe swaps to suicides but other than Ten that, they need remaining. either the Puck getting a good silence off or Marana hitting a lucky Five arrow to lock the life stealer down this game. So it's not a bad pick here. I um part part of the reason that I've I've just been kinda sitting here puzzled is I was reading a uh Prepare for battle. Apparently there's there's a Reddit thread about Team Hyuk. Oh yeah, I, I love drama. Can I get some drama? Yeah, there's drum roll. No, it's 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 not really that big of a drama. It's just, Darn. it's 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 kind of like what everybody has already known, which is e hug or suffering right now. Want to go get some free hugs? <laughs> I kind of want to give e hug some hugs, man. What about me, dude? Feeling down. I'll, I give, got, you, I'll give you a hug at TI. I got. You gonna be at TI four? By e hug. You? No, I'll be at TI four. You're paying, right? Didn't didn't you quit e hug? I did. Yeah. But what if I was secretly kicked? By myself. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 want you want me to have sympathy for you for what you did to yourself? Sorry, yes. Sorry, Sorry Rio. That's it's not gonna happen. Uh, it's not gonna happen. So okay. So what do you think about uh, the fact that we are looking to be seeing some sort of dual lane here with the life stealer? Like this could be like, are they just trying to dodge what Power Rangers are running up against? Like, I. Or do they really think, like, why would you put the, the life stealer out here in this, in a precarious position and put Funnick in the safe lane? The battle just begins. guaranteeing. Like, he's still going to have a hard time if he's going up against the Shattered Demon Marana. You would want to put the, uh, the life stealer up against that, I would think. He's got that instant range to be able to deal with the arrow. They just want to make sure that there's no aggressive tri lane. If there's aggressive mm -hmm. tri lane, then this is a good dodge. And it's still kind of a good dodge. All they need is open wounds plus maybe rage and the the sl slow from Lich, the blast. So you can get the kill on the Leshrac pretty easily. And they don't have too much. They have a Venge stun. I don't think they can kill the Venge. Venge is going to be getting a little bit tanky, but Leshrac, he might have a hard time in this lane. Not and, for you. Well, I'm interested to see how this lane goes Deny. now for Puck versus uh, TA middle since it was the exact opposite. We'll see who can get the better of who. Yeah, last time, uh, I, I gotta say, I think Sing Sing did a, did a great job in lane. He just survived, got enough CS to be able to get himself a fast blink dagger. Um, and should be fine from here. I'm more interested to see how they're going to be able to make this dual lane work here because the Bane and Batrider, I don't really see them being able to contest the Shattered Demon uh, and Marana combo. Like, wherever the Life Stealer is going to go, he's going to be fine. Like, he can dodge the Magic Missile Stun, he can dodge Split Earth, he can dodge the Arrow. Like, he's going to be fine no matter where he goes. But Funnick is going to be in a little bit precarious position here with all of this... Uh, this easy to hit combo with the arrows. So he's just sitting way off in the side right now, just trying to soak up whatever experience he can. Middle lane is going the way of Sing Sing right now, and that's not a big surprise with the early refraction damage. Uh, and uh, Scandal's actually taking a lot more harassment than Sing Sing is right now. So a little bit better use of those side blades possibly. It's all about the positioning in that matchup. And I just think Sing Sing's uh, playing this matchup a little bit better than Scandal was. I mean, it's, it's it's like Scandal's not harassing Sing Sing enough in this situation. He, he should be making him go back to eat trees more in this situation. But other than that, it's it's not too bad for uh, the Puck. I mean, they're going to have eco CS a little bit. So it, oh. it's nothing to Whoa, it's a bottom lane. They're now. doing a lot of damage to he's both dead. here. Yep, he's dead. I think you're right. First Edict is going to be enough. The surprise split hurst. Uh, Hobos didn't really see that one coming. The split earth landed, and then FNG was able to get close enough to combo that up with a uh, magic missile. So a quick, easy first blood goes the way of Power Rangers. Is that a, oh, that's a lightning bolt level up. <laughs> that's right. What's up? Uh, there's no point in going level one. I think he has to be maxing it. But if you're maxing it, you're missing out on the edict damage. There's no point in getting one in lightning if you're not maxing it. Yeah, I, I agree. Normally we do see the lightning. It's a 1-1-3 a build. 
early on the laning phase, so you, you maybe he just wants to spam up against the life stealer. Maybe he doesn't feel they're going to be able to get that kind of kill again. So instead, he just wants to be able to like spam out lightning to, you know, harass Havos as much as possible. Maybe push him back a little bit and. Um, at the very least, they know the Leshrac won't be in danger, so then the Vengeful Spirit can go and do, like, double and triple pulls and, and just have a good old, good old time in the, uh, in the jungle. Oh, oh, no, oh they landed it! The arrow was almost too early. They still doing a lot of damage to Vols. Not quite enough to finish him off, though. He should have probably went back a lot further. Yeah. And then try to leap in, and then they would have probably got the kill. They needed the stun duration to last longer. Since he has boots, they're not going to be catching him since they don't have boots of their own. No, Shadow Demon has boots, but if Marana had maybe had boots there, they could have gotten the kill, or if he's just longer cooldown on the stun. He was still playing aggressive in the jungle here. Now he's getting a get out. Stealing the EXP though, so a little bit nicely played there. Uh -oh. The one good thing is you're always going to have these Lich Denies. Always giving this all lane back. Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. Oh, he still gets the arrow right through the creeps. Symphonic lands right into it. Sleep is going to go out. Cheshire Cat. They're trying to juggle it as much as possible. Starstorm does go off and they get the kill, but it might be at the cost of Cheshire Cat's life. He heals up a little bit more. He's going to try and tango his way through the trees. Kuro still on prompt pursuit there. Cheshire Cat working his way around. He does have an arrow. Oh, he juked him, Kuro. He's giving up on the kill now, I think. I think he's going to find him. Oh, oh God. They're gonna see each other. Oh, Cheshire Cat's done for now. He's gonna Fire fall. Boots, Fire TP. Fire Maybe Tango. Go. Oh God, he's making a ring, ring around the rosy. Kuro doesn't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> so Dude, just God. give up on the kill now. It's all over. Leap, leap, go, Cheshire Cat. Blocked. You can do it. It's not the he right angle. Blocked. He's blocked. He's done. Yeah, he's he's, he's gonna go into that little area. Oh, if only he'd left over Funic, he might have been able to get out. I think he still would have been chased down by uh by Sticky Napalm plus boots, but. Oh, Cheshire Cat at least threw them for uh, for quite the ride. At the same time, we did have a kill on bottom. They killed Havos again. I saw that pop up, but I just had to watch that uh, that attempt to juke by Cheshire Cat. I mean, I had to. <laughs> it's uh, pretty it's pretty good, but well, like you said, the Havos uh, not offline, not paying off this game. They still have though. They have the uh, Cloud9 advantage, so I'm not going to count them out yet, but so far Power Rangers <laughs> up 3-0. Not bad. Well, honestly, like, uh, I mean, he started out well, and he's still doing well, don't get me wrong, but Scandal, I think, has picked up the, the pace a little bit with this lane. Like, he's sitting at 18-3 and three compared to the 19-8 and eight on, um, on Templar Assassin. I feel that's about where it, the lane should go. Like like you said, maybe you can get an early advantage with the puck by, by trying to really aggressively harass the Templar Assassin, but um, when it comes down to like the CS War, if you can't push him out early, then it would, when it comes to the CS War, I think that's about the best you're gonna get. 18 and three, that's, that's not too bad for Scandal. So Sting Sting's definitely having a good time, but Scandal, is, is, he's getting there. He's getting there. Well, the one thing to note, so this is going to be a big factor going into the next uh, two minutes is that they use the bottle. Uh, they use the crow top, and now Sing Sing doesn't have the bottle crows. He's level five and a half, but so is Scandal, and he's picked up a haste rune here. So Sing Sing, he's not going to be able to get these, uh, like, the next two, three waves of creeps unless he goes back to base right now and get, buys his boots, buys his TP scroll, and comes back. So I, I'm a little bit worried for... TA right now. I guess he could pop through refraction charges right now and clear out this creep wave before Scandal gets back into the lane. But he's not going to have his bottle crowing is uh, the main point here going on for the next. He's not going to have it for at least another minute or so. Yeah. Well, uh, Power Rangers are certainly doing a I, I mean, I still can't believe they're getting these kills on Havos. Like, maybe one surprise kill, but the second one for me is just, like, so out of the blue because you, you shouldn't really be able to get a stun on Havos without him being, like, he could just rage off the missile. Like, you see that maybe if, like, Moon is playing this really, really aggressively and, in, in, like, trying to throw out Split Earth and, like, stopping them, like, stop uh, uh, animation canceling them a lot, so trying to force out some rages and then maybe you get him there. But in general, I, I think just Havos should not be getting caught out as much.
he definitely can't win the lane. Like, up against uh, a lot of this, I love Ventral Spirit up against a Life Stealer because you got so much, at least in the laning phase, you got a lot of good physical damage that Life Stealer can't actually fight up against the Ventral Spirit. You combine that with maybe a little bit of Edict damage very, very early on, there's just no way Life Stealer can, can actually pick up a kill on either one of these heroes, despite the fact that they're actually relatively squishy. Ventral Spirit's definitely the tankier of the two, uh, one of the tankier supports by far. But, um, just in general, I'm surprised he's he's been picked off so much. Well, we got the nice animation here from the uh, bottom. Uh, dude, I have this hair set for bottom. Uh -huh. It's the ugliest thing, I think. I, I don't like it. I, I just, no. Just no. Goodbye, Marana. Goodbye. Hey, at least well, he gets out an arrow. And a firefly. We saw firefly. Yeah, that's true. That's not, a, that's not a bad point. Definitely wasn't necessary for Fodic there, but blows it anyway, just to make sure. Maybe he felt like she was actually going to get over the trees. She's going to come right back, though, and they do have a disruption soul catcher combo here and just a little bit of mana, so they may go for a kill, especially since Funnick does not have that Firefly. Definitely have to keep an eye on this lane, but uh, as always, since he's already died a couple times, keep an eye on Havos. This, uh, this Lich Armor being leveled up fairly early on, Ice Armor is definitely going to help out Havos a lot here because Life Stealer is, is known for being a very, very low armor hero. Like, he's actually not that tanky. If you just are able to get the uh, good silence off, a lot of right-click damage, he wilters under physical damage pretty heavily. Just because of the fact that um, he depends so heavily on his rage and his, and his life steal to be able to keep himself alive. So, uh, Ice Armor will definitely be a bit of a boon there for him as survivability goes. Oh, we have to note that I can see how Havos can die now. Uh, you can do the Lightning Storm first, and mm -hmm. then you can do the stun immediately afterwards on the Venge. And if you have that mini stun, you you sometimes won't be able to get off the stun. I also, there's nighttime vision, mm -hmm. so they don't have any wards out coming from Na'Vi. Uh, I, I thought it wasn't a mini stun. I thought it was just uh, a slow. No, it's a mini stun, dude. Patch notes. Read the patch notes, noob. D what? <laughs> See, look, read it. All right. Uh, the strike enemies are slowed, but for... Oh, no, you're right. I'm a noob. Yeah. What? You, yeah. All right, I'm a noob. I'm retired. You're Hold a on. noob. Go read the patch notes right now. All right, I'm going to read them. Just, Hold on. Just, just quit the game. Just quit the cast. Go read the patch notes. Come back to me when you're done. That's your homework. Well, it looks like I've been stuck, but it's slow. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? I was like, trying to like, just run through my whole entire brain. I was like, did that happen at 6.8? Was there a mini stun and a slow now? Oh All God. Right, falsifying information. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That, that combo is actually really interesting to be seen. Like uh, any sort of like mid lash rack or any, any core lash rack, you throw out the lightning on a creep and then you can set yourself up for the stun. That's really interesting. But again, it, the, the problem with the life stealer is you should be able to rage out. Should being the operative word. Maybe I meant slow. Man, my brain is slow. I don't even know what to say anymore. There's nothing to say. Well, mid lane doing fine for both. It's going to be coming down to this. Uh, well, I wonder if Scandal's going to be doing the same thing as Sing Sing. Is he going to go for the treads or is he going to be going for the fast blink dagger? They're setting a gink up on top. Funic, if he goes fireflies. He should be dead. He should be knowing that they're pushing this wave heart, so you should know that they're trying to dive. So, mm. and he's gonna go play defensively over here. So, nice positioning. He can still get caught out. He's gonna get caught out. So where's the arrow? It's gonna come out. Is it gonna be a blanded time? Funic already got away. And he's into the trees now. Teleports are coming in. j is in a bit of a precarious position at the same time. Girl, he may catch FNG. He's going to see him get to the sleep off. Can his allies come attack. in in time, though? They have a little bit of slow damage here. They have the brain snap that's going to come out eventually here. Arrow's going to go out. Will land on Kuro this time around. FNG turns, fights a little bit, getting more sticky so napalm chaps on him. Kuro does finally fall, but uh, FNG is going to live here. He's gonna live, the disruption goes down. Funic might be in a little bit of trouble here as they do have a leap up. No arrow just yet. And they decide not to go for the dive here, so... Excellent trade there. I was, I was actually really afraid of that. The fact they tried to go on the, the eventual spirit, who is just tanky enough to live through that bit of burst there. Radiance middle and tower uh, then the arrow attack. landing just kind of sealed the deal that FNG was able to get away. Sing Sing's gonna find a double damage rune. He's gonna be happy with that one. You could see this lightning storm is really playing havoc right now on Havost. 
Mm. It's a nice, it's a nice pickup for just harassing metal lane. But the problem is that even though he's harassing metal lane, he's still got 40 CS. He's beating the, he's even though he has two deaths, he's beating the last strike. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yep, he gets the right click right as his supports were coming in for a smoke gank too. So not only is that a kill, but that's a whole entire smoke gank just wasted as Curl and Puppy were making the rotation in. Uh, I was just trying to praise Havos, but then he does something <laughs> like that, so I don't know if I can praise him again. Is he either a jinx or is just uh Well, maybe maybe you could see why he died before, is that he Dyer's was just trying to play so aggressively, and he attack. was doing well in CS, that uh, maybe that's how he got caught out so often. He was just playing rather greedy. Looks like he's going to go to the top lane, though. <laughs> he's tired with dealing with this less rack. Three deaths to his name within nine minutes. Yeah, time to, <laughs> time to spend some time farming, attack. friend. Time to spend some time farming. The Lich Armor middle yep. on the tower. Everybody's so blue. It's so ridiculous. The extra armor plus the like the the slow. It's just obnoxious as all how Power, Power Rangers are gonna be committing though to this push as they now Dyer's add in the towns of Cheshire Cat attack. into this middle lane push. Dyer's structures are I'm not really seeing it. Like they do have the chain frost coming out from the Lich. That is one advantage, but Kuro doesn't have his ultimate just yet so hey power rangers though they're playing this pretty pretty safe i thought they were really going to commit to that tower and take it in a short amount of time but just didn't quite go for it and that just means they're leaving them both to free farm right now they would just wasted so much time with four heroes middle hmm. i mean nahas pointed out that he is a really good life stealer player, but when you're playing against new, new, all these new heroes, sometimes you just, uh, in the new meta game, you just sometimes get Double picked damage. up. I mean, when's the last time he's he could say he's played against a farming Leshrac and <laughs> got lightning stormed up when it just got changed? And sometimes these these uh these things can throw you for a loop, and it just you play differently. But Havos should be going down here. Do they have? No, they have no blink on Puck. They don't have that they, much to kill him. They do have the Purge, but Hobos always has him fast, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. Throws out the Purge. He's looking for a unit to the fast. The swap oh, goes out! Oh, that was beautiful from FNG. That was mid-animation, too. That was... Sing Sing now picking up his Midas, though. Dyer's now they're just going out full greed. I wonder if Hobos is going to go same thing. No, he's going to be going for drums. Now they're pressing this tower. They have Fortify up. They look like oh, they want to defend this. Scale. Oh, what a jinx. Double yeah. coil. Now the teleports come in. He's going to be able to follow this up with a silent stop puppy from passing that uh, chain frost. Now the disruption goes out, saving the puck. And chain frost won't do anything. They're losing everybody here. Good double stun coming out from the ledge wreck. Now follow that up. Sing Sing trying to turn, but he's going to run out of refraction charges soon here. And without that, he's a very squishy hero. So they quickly Dyer's take down two heroes. And now going to be able to push attack. into this tier one tower. And nothing Navi can do to stop this. Dyer's no, middle tower has fallen. Playing, playing with Dyer's fire. bottom tower oh. is under attack. He can always oh, catch both. fire when he's uh, when he's already uh, raging. So. By the way, did you oh. see what happened at the uh, the top side lane there? Top side lane. Uh, see, secret mean? shop is what I meant. Um, Funic. He, he, I think he blinked in, and he had lasso on cooldown. But I, don't, I didn't really see anybody being held up by that. Like, it looked like most of the teleports went out, and then the other two heroes who were pushing into Tier 1 tower teleported in and later. So, I don't know what happened. Oh, Puppy, you're going down. Yeah, Puppy's gone for it. Kill Sorry, Puppy. Hey, it looks like uh, Moon is going to be going your build. This is more common for very, very core Leshrax. It's uh, an early bloodstone for him, so... He's still lacking a lot of HP because he went for the purrs plus yeah. the arcane first. So that's the one bad thing is that he's not going to be having as much uh, life right now. But it's a lot it's a lot better for farming, flash farming, because you get the regen for HP and mana. So as long as he doesn't get caught out, this build is worth it. They should be getting a free tower. Dyer's they don't know where tower Navi is, is though. Attack. That's the one thing, but still it should be going Radiant's down. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, they only have uh, a couple of wards up, has and most of Navi is in their own jungle, but it looks like they're going to be able to take the tower without any interruption whatsoever on the side of Navi. Navi are just spending more time farming than anything else right now. I think losing the last couple engagements, they're like, okay, we need to back up, we need to just farm, reset, because right now we're, we're going a little on tilt. But Radiant's this is the issue. If they don't start addressing attack. this Leshrac, he's going to be taking the, these towers down very quickly. Ice armor or no. Is under attack. 
Hi, Simon. is useless when you have uh, all this magic damage coming up from last track. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's well. not really. You're not really relying on the right clicks. You're not getting that uh, attack speed slow. So, it's just really the armor that's helping out a little bit. Well, they're setting up. They want to defend this. Puppy's ulti just came off cooldown right now. So now they can fight. Maybe they'll get a better bounce this time. Funnick. Oh, don't Radiant's go for it, Funnick. He's got he's got attack. two different really good supports to be able to counter out a Batrider. Whether it's the disruption or the swap, either one. Oh, maybe it's actually Ooh, that was close. Funnick almost gets caught there by the uh, by the disruption, which would have turned into a quick splur er, split earth. No, they were trying to go for the swap combo into the lightning so he couldn't blink right there. Oh yeah, yeah. He had the he had the lightning already. Saw the animation going out for J4 though. Was... Yeah, uh, he, he was probably purging. Purge has a longer uh, cooldown, yeah. but you can still blink out, off when he purges, but mm. Finge wanted to swap into the lightning right there, but it didn't go. Funnick now is in a better position to get somebody now. Yeah, if he could just drag them. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a bat, uh, a, a four staff just because his lane went uh, so poorly. He's not going to be able to get that real quick grab, but attack. maybe if he can surprise them. Here comes the teleport in. He's waiting for the lasso. Nell throws it out. Quick disruption goes out, but he's still going to be in bad position. Moonlight Shadow going down. Bounce is going around. He's going to hit Moon twice here. That's a large share of damage, and the flame break comes in from Funnick. Finish them off, and all three of the heroes pushing in this tier two will all fall, and they'll get the deny on the tower. We do have some heroes coming in. The rest of Power Rangers aren't making their way in. Star Trump's gonna get two off of that one. Scandal gets the one-man coil. Try to finish off Funnick real quickly. Can't quite get him. It looks like Scandal will fall, but he gets his Link Dagger in the end. He falls to Flame Break once again. Funnick secures the last hit. So, eh, maybe not worth it jumping in, but at the same time, they still got the Blink Dagger on the puck, and Cheshire Cat walks away with two extra kills to his name. Yeah, you can see the inexperience of Power Rangers right there. I mean, they are Navi Slayers, but that was just a little bit too risky. I mean, they have Puck. Uh, they had the bottom. He wasn't there. They had the Puck and wasn't there. Why are, we, why are you trying to fight when you know that the enemy Tier 2 is right there and you can get caught out any time with the Batrider? So, uh, it's just a little bit cocky for my uh, liking there and so they got paid a little bit but like you said tier 2 tower did get down it did get denied and batrider i meant the uh, puck now has his blink but batrider almost well not almost he's but he, once he has his four staff it's gonna be harder for them to maybe get these swaps or disruptions off if he can do it uh do it on time <laughs> Yeah, you could see how the experience especially is just dropped down in the favor of Na'Vi by almost 3,000. Um, slight little gold dip there. They did get themselves a tier 2 tower, even if it was denied. But looks like uh, you were talking about this earlier, and it Dyer's seems like you are just a fan attack. of Roshan in general. But uh, the early Rosh advantage here for Dyer's Na'Vi with the Templar fortified. Assassin as well as uh, the Dire Side. They should easily be able to secure that, but it's going to be at a trade here. Dyer's Power Rangers are going to be able to claim the tier one tower, maybe catch out some more heroes as uh, Kuro. He's going to get caught out here by the slow, and this may mean Navi. They have to back up. They cannot go for Roshan. Going to be slowed up by the trap. But in general, big win there for Power Rangers. Yeah, and uh, now they have the Ooh, this... 200 gold. They got a Bloodstone in the Leshrac. I'm trying to figure out how they're going to kill him in these team fights when they have the Venge Swap plus Shadow Demon Disruption. This Leshrac carry, I think it's going to work. Hey, he just needs 100 gold. Don't take this fight without it. Dyer's middle tower but they don't have a Fortify. Attack. They know they can be playing aggressive here. Yeah, they, they, could, they could just blow up. Moon real quickly too. They've got Funnick who uh, right now has a boast inside him with the Infest. So if they grab Moon, I, they, they still have to worry about the swap as well as the disruption. So th those are some pretty big defensive abilities that could definitely save him. Um, that they have to play around right now. Funnick maybe going in. The stun's gonna land, follow up arrow. The silence already going out. Funnick's getting get blown up real quickly. And most, he's been slowed down by the purge. Extra magic damage coming out. Puppy getting very, very low. Cheshire Cat runs his way right through the enemies. Moonlight Shadow is not gonna be saving him. That does will last long enough. Good swap goes out, but the Melt Strike lands anyway. Hobos a little bit of trouble. He's gonna get popped by the Lightning Storm. It's gonna be the cause of Vengeful Spirit's life, though. Moon, oh no, he got a little too greedy there. He got too close to Sing Sing. May go down. The disruption goes out. Now Split Earth. And that's going to be an easy kill for him. He almost lost his life. He's got a little bit too close to that Templar Assassin. But in the end, the fight still goes the way of Power Rangers. Beautiful as they only lost the Vengeful Spirit as well as the Marana in exchange for a team wipe up against Na'Vi.
Only way that could have been better is if Flashback had his bloodstone. He yeah. would had he would have had 15 charges right now. 15. Can you imagine 15 charges? That's no, not 15. 13. I can't add five to eight. That's it's really hard, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, he, yeah. On top of that, that's why he became a his... professional player, not a math teacher. <laughs> uh, math too hard. I mean, he got a thousand gold off that too. That's mm -hmm. a lot, and so did. Oh, they're gonna keep going. Yeah. Play really aggressive. They don't want to give them too much space. They they don't have always eyes like this TA does on the uh, the Roche pit. So anytime they could always just sneak into Roche in if they have enough DPS. Oh, and Flanick would be such a great pick off here. Trying to get close enough for the swap. Could not quite get there. I was about to say, they're playing this a little bit greedy though. Scandal has an invis rune. Where's Sing Sing's items? See, this is not good at all. Like, Sing Sing has no items. Yeah. He just got the Midas. This is Midas gaming not paying off. They have, they don't even have, well, they have Armlet kind of soon on the, oh, well, puck Dyer's invisible, they're fine. Tower I, I like this. Attack. He's scouting out where Navi are at, Dyer's and they say, we can go ahead and trade fallen. a tier one for a tier two, Rangers and we're close to Roshan. Rangers. They can go for a high ground. They don't even need to defend this. Why are they defending this? Dyer's Make Navi rotate back. What are they doing? I, oh, they're going to try and sneak in Roshan. This is so damn dangerous Radiance up against the team. Tower. You talked about the traps. They know Navi. They're still going to be forced away from the tier one tower, but. Maybe, I, I don't know, it just seems like such a safer choice to, like you said, push uphill to force them back rather than go Roshan. Because Roshan, I mean, it's so close to where Navi were at. Attack. They get picked by the Batrider or something. See, they just lost so much. They lost their bottom tower, they lost their top tower. They are not Radiance making any of the enemy team fallen. move back. Now they're scared that they might be doing Roshan. Oh, and I, uh, oh. That's all right, yeah, it's... They're going to give themselves a little bit of vision here, but Navi may go for it. They see top lane. Scandal's trying to push this out. This would be a great opportunity for them to try and get aggressive on Power Rangers right now. They Or possibly try and go for Roshan. That's a little bit scarier, though. They're going to try and go for it with some of their minus armor. Arrow's going to go out. Oh, he lands on Humphonic right as he jumps in. Now, both pops out, trying to finish off J4. He does have a disruption. He's going to go on defensively here. Puck comes in. Four-man coil. Four-man silence. Doing a huge amount of damage in Na'Vi. They've lost the team fight. They're trying to get out, but nobody's going to be able to escape the onslaught of Moon. Wipes Na'Vi once again, and Power Rangers now going to be able to finish off Roshan. It was a questionable play, but goddamn, they still made it work. That arrow was so damn lucky from Cheshire Cat, though. Wow. That was a pretty nice play from Scandal. Pretty nice play from Moon. I mean, they, they have the nice heroes just to do whatever they want. Venge just swaps, pops the lead away. Nice shadow the they got for the disruptions. I mean, they just grouped up. And Navi has to group up to get stuff done. They, that, was, that was just a bad place to entry right here. This little uh, little spot for Navi to go down. They should have maybe wrapped around. So, mm -hmm. not the best place for them to fight. Because you have to all go on this high ground to go anywhere to fight the Power Rangers heroes. So at least that was a nice fight for Power Rangers on uh, the, like the positioning factor. And well, that's uh, 13 blood charges stuns now for Last Track. What do you want to see here? Uh, Power Rangers, they obviously picked up a huge amount of gold. Cheshire Cat, he, let's start with him. 3.8k. What do we go here? Let's see here against... Well, Mjolnir's okay-ish. Not mm -hmm. so much against the TA. You can get rid of the refractions, but if TA gets a BKB and... Life Sealer already has Rage, is not as useful. You don't really have a tanky hero just to sit on the front lines and have the uh, Mjolnir to get those procs, so it's not that great. Uh, you need attack speed. He's got treads plus the drums, but he also needs DPS, so... I'm trying to think if I would go a Butterfly. Uh, I think Butterfly is amazing on Miranda in this game, but I don't know if it'd be your first item. Right. Uh, maybe... Well, it looks like he's probably just going to go for a... Uh, Manta. And Manta. Yeah, that's that's not a terrible choice. We got Blink Dagger being picked up by J4. That mobility item is going to do a lot for him. Scandal's going to be going for the Scythe of Ice. FNG looks like uh, he is uh, going for many items at once. I'm slightly confused here by his builds because Helmet Iron World and, and Bolt of Strength. He's going to go for a uh, Veil of Discord. Yeah, that's what I figured too, but... Wait, what was he doing with the Belt of Strength? Was he trying to maybe go for a Halbert? He probably misclicked for Treads. I think he bought oh, an extra yeah. 
uh, Battle of Strange thing. Yeah, you're probably It's either right. that or you know, there's nothing else. He wouldn't be going for anything else. I think he did that. Or just wanted more tanky. It's about, let's see, let's compare Battle of Giant Strength 6 plus 4 Bracer. It's plus 6 plus. So they're the same thing. Yeah. And Belt is. <laughs> it's just you get, you get extra stats, intelligence, and agility out of a Bracer, so. Uh, yeah. 75 gold plus 2. But yeah, I do like, like, normally you wouldn't think about uh, a Veil going with the Vengeful Spirit, but it's obviously for the synergy of uh, both uh, both of the carries for there for the team. Like, all three of the cores output a lot of magic damage. Moon, attack. obviously, with his uh, Pulse Nova and all his other abilities, excluding uh, Diabolic Edict. You got the Star Storm as well as the Dyer's Arrow, and then uh, Puck as well. It's just a slew of magic damage. So a Veil Discord would definitely be a great uh, help to Power Rangers, just being able to burst down some of these heroes even uh, even faster. Well, this is one of those games where Blink Dagger's good on t uh, TA, but it's not going to be enough. You have to go Blink Dagger against yeah, Vengeful plus uh, Disruption capabilities. Mm -hmm. But if you go that, you have zero DPS, even even with the Refractions. I mean, you have a lot of DPS, but you're not going to be getting a lot a lot done when, when these heroes are are meant to be kiting you. Do you feel like he should have gone for the Blink Dagger faster and not gone for the Hand of Midas? Because it feels like the Blink Dagger is just too late, right? Like, him being able to jump down and burst down a hero is not an option right now. They, they all have some sort of stat items to be able to tank up against that. I mean, all they can do now for Na'Vi is just split push, hope that Power Rangers doesn't go high ground, and it's just kind of the waiting game now Radiant's for when Power Rangers want to go. Under attack. Uh, one thing is, we were wrong about the Mrena. Oh, she's, okay. she's going for the Lincolns. So, she's uh, worried about that Batrider, but Funnick has not been doing anything these last team fights. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, they're, they're so worried about it, considering the fact that... I mean, I guess we also have, like, Fiend's Grip, maybe, but... Uh, that's the only the other real big single target ability um, that's going to be coming out. So and I'm not too big of a fan of the Lincolns. I would have rather seen the Banta just because of the fact that then you're actually beginning to build into a bit of late game on the Marana. Like just in case like things end up going south for you, at least you have the Marana backing you up where like Leshrac will always be kind of strong with all this magic damage, but there, you reach a point, right? You reach a point where your damage over time, it, it only does so much. Dyer's so maybe the Rana maxing out some attack. physical damage for you gives Dyer's you some options options past the 35 minute mark. Radiant's middle tower well, is under attack. Never gonna be right in this game. So F and A, <laughs> he went the Alpha Dominator, and he's got this Alpha Wolf now. They got a lot of DPS oh, damn. on this tower. Nice. So they Radiant's got some physical DPS for this uh, Lich Charmer. That's well, not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. 45 was wasted. Can somebody explain this new Roshan timer to me? Is it? Don't don't, just, just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Wait for the pop-up. Wait for the pop-up. Moon, uh, another Lincoln's one. Brought that right back by uh, Shashir Kath. Already taken out the tier three tower. Radiant's and Navi. Tower is under attack. Here looks like Puppy angling to maybe go on FNG. Where's the uh, swap? It's gonna go up. Up and out. Moon Chain is gonna start bouncing around. Go to the creeps now. Continues to bounce as J4 keeps it alive. Oh no, he's taking so much damage. He's gonna fall here. Moon is in the front though. They've already finished off the Lich. Moon's in trouble, but that Shiva's gonna do a lot of work up against the boss. He has to go back to the fountain. Sing Sing. He's gonna burn out here. The F Green script goes down, but he's immediately interrupted by Curl. Buyback's coming out. The boast. Suicide Moon, Suicide, heal your team, get Aegis. No, don't do it, buddy. He's going to keep himself alive. He doesn't want to just eat once all the kills for himself. He's going to fight up against Sing Sing and the rest of his team. But maybe he should have. This isn't looking too good for him. He's doing a huge amount of damage. Sing Sing will go down. The baby's going to fall off. He gets it all, man. He gets it all. That monster split earth gets him a triple kill. He stays alive through all of that and doesn't even need the, uh, the Aegis. And uh, that's it. Navi call GG. Sure enough, Power Rangers, they're the Navi Slayers. They tie up the series one to one. Well, well played by Power Rangers. Lestrek, best hero in Dota. It's confirmed. Yeah, it's, it's confirmed. It's confirmed, man. It has been too long since I've seen Lestrek cores, and I am loving it. Uh, it was 